brace, brace. I'm bracing. <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster. And spoiler alert, I don't know everything. I don't know how the pyramids were built. I can't explain nuclear fusion. I don't know what butter is. What is it? No one knows really. Off milk. Try spreading off milk on your kids' toast. They'll be off school for a fortnight, you idiot. So, why would five comedians risk everything to win a trophy that doesn't look like anyone? It's not me. I've had a beard for five years. It doesn't matter. The point is, we don't need to know the answer to everything. Sometimes we just need to drink it in. So please, raise your glasses to Frankie Boyle! To me, the chips to my fish, the nut to my bolt, the toilet bowl to my heavy beef lunch. <laughs> it is <laughs> little Alex Hall. <laughs> Hello, Greg. You all right? Yeah. Do you want a game of rice pie? Yes, please. Okay. Well, let's play. <laughs> what sort of pie is this? It's a nice. Pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice pie, isn't it? You've got, you've got to guess the filling. That's the, the game. That's the game. And then we crack it open and find out if you're right. <laughs> it's really wet. <laughs> OK, I think it's um, a chicken pie. It is a chicken pie. OK. <laughs> He's won ice pie! <laughs> On with the prize task. For today's prize task, you demanded the comedians brought in the best thing to play about with in your bathroom. The winner of the episode is guaranteed some seriously top-level bathroom fun. <laughs> Hi, Al, I'll start with you. What do you like playing with in your bathroom? I like playing with a piano. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Does it drown out unfortunate sounds? Um, it depends how high you turn it up. <laughs> so, are you saying you could provide the soundtrack to the moment? Is that what you call it the moment? Do you not call it the moment? <laughs> He's always called it the moment. <laughs> what tunes could a man play on this piece of tat? Oh, we're talking three blind mice. <laughs> um... <laughs> End of sentence. <laughs> that is shit. Wow. That is. That is a disappointing start. <laughs> May. I, well, I guess if, if people stay around my house, I want them to have a very exciting and thrilling time, and I like to live on the edge dangerously. So I've made uh, a toothpaste Russian roulette. Here, here's a picture of it. Mm. Toothpaste Russian roulette. Okay, so <laughs> there's different things in each tube. So one has mayonnaise, one has cream cheese, one has face oh. cream, and one has toothpaste. I've never felt such danger as brushing <laughs> my teeth with cheese. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun, though, anyway. It's fun, and you've made an effort. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Frankie, you know how when you have a bath, you set up a lot of candles, you create an atmosphere? <laughs> why not... One does. <laughs> <laughs> why, not, why not use that atmosphere to contact the dead <laughs> with a laminated Ouija board specifically designed to contact the dead members of the group, the Bee Gees? <laughs> So wow. Here, here is Frankie's waterproof <laughs> BG Ouija board. <laughs> uh, I really like it, Frankie. I probably shouldn't. I do, though. Okay. And I'm a big fan of the Bee Gees. R.I.P. R.I.P. Hello, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> iPhone. Greg, I've brought in a prize task that combines a lovely bit of music, a lovely bit of danger, and even a little bit of death. It's a scale model of the Titanic. <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Craig. God, Don't it... you want to bathe with her? I don't want to um, recreate one of the 
worst maritime disasters <laughs> in history. But you don't have to recreate it. You can keep your scale model of the Titanic afloat, afloat. in the bar. <laughs> That's the beauty of the prize task. God. You can change history for the better. I don't think you can change history. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hello, boys. Hello. <laughs> Hello, both. I don't know whether either of you or any of my teammates here are clenchers or grinders. The world does divide. Mm. Clencher or grinder? Grinder. Grinder. Mm. A grinder. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a clencher, terrible clencher. And this is a charming mouth brace I have to wear at night. Um, <laughs> and I can put it in. So okay. Have you lost your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I start like that, right? <laughs> and it's disgusting. Right. And it can never get properly clean. Uh, so, on the market, there's this digital brace cleaner that you can get. In short, Jenny has brought in a dental pod. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Have some fun in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. This, they also are quite expensive, and I haven't treated myself to one. I thought, if I ask them to get me one on this, I'll go home with it. <laughs> Even if I don't win. If I don't win. Well, you're going to have to judge this, Greg. Jenny's definitely yes. helped me out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> one point for Jenny and Claire. <laughs> Two points to May. Mm. Three to Ivo, I think. Right. Four to Kyle. So Frankie Boyle takes the five points. With a Ouija board. Frankie Boyle, five points. Ouija. OK, let's have a proper task. Yes, I know. I, I agree. <laughs> OK, here is a task right now. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. You all have a seat? Two chairs, that's a bit ominous. Oh, I've got a heart. What's all this about? <laughs> Invent an imaginary companion. I do that every day. <laughs> then complete a domestic task with your imaginary companion. Your imaginary companion must either be much taller or much littler than you. Most poignant scene wins. Interesting criteria. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yep. <laughs> we wore the same jacket. It's really just a dramatic scene with just myself. Pretty much any story of a 49-year-old man with an imaginary friend is going to have a certain poignancy. What are you thinking? <laughs> What's it up? It's poignant. If I can get a tear out, that's got to be worth a point. Would have thought so. Yeah, OK. Do I want this fragile? Headed tall bloke or tiny little knife in my pocket. Got to keep them in my bra like a phone. There we go. It's in there. So we're off to the kitchen? Sure. I'll be in the kitchen. You're all right in there. You're all right in there, are right? you? You're all right. Then we're going to go for a little walk to the kitchen. Come on, let's do that. <laughs> Kyle, tell me about your childhood friend. What was his name? Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of stuff did you in Chicago get up to? Skateboarding, uh, making up songs. Do you remember any of them? All of them started with I don't know how much. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> hell. I don't know how much you want to be with me. It's the most poignant task we've ever had on the show. Are you ready to see it? Let's have a look. All right, we're going to begin with three real friends called Frankie, Kyle, and May, and their unreal friends who are called Andy, Louis, and Salvatore. Here we go. <laughs> Just been cooking some cookies from a little friend, Imaginary Andy. It's his first day at school today, is it? Imaginary friend school. He loves cookies. Andy would do absolutely anything to get his hands on some cookies. It's a bit late, actually. Salvatore. Mm. Yeah, here. It's good, right? There you go. On uh, look at us. Best friends, Kyle, Louis, about to do the washing up. Mm. I'm sorry about my family. They don't um, understand what we have. But since I found you under a toadstool, I've felt like I finally make sense, you know? 
So tell me more about your plans for life. Really? I've always wanted to see New Zealand too. It's a long flight. But I'd look after you. You know I've always got your back. Forever. Best friends. Oh. What's that? Sorry, I can't talk just now. Yeah, no, no, I'm waiting for Andy to come back. Yeah, he is a little bit late. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put these away, yeah? Don't you move. I feel like that soup needs a little more spice. Salvatore? Salvatore? And if we... Louis? Louis? Where did... Louis? Oh, he's back. Where is he? Andy! Andy, no! Andy! No, Andy! Andy, it's great! Oh, my God. So... Babe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. My body or my world, like Sal. I love you, Sal. Oh my God! Sort of found there were a couple of genuinely harrowing moments. <laughs> Salvatore boiled to death. <laughs> Louis was washed away. I'll never get to go to New Zealand. <laughs> And then Frankie, fucking... <laughs> that, that, that Jesus Christ was like, genuinely t yeah. too much. <laughs> I might ask you, what, why uh, never at any point did you seek to open the uh, oven door? <laughs> Choosing to let him carry on burning. <laughs> Cheaper than a cremation. <laughs> um, May, heartbreaking. The only thing that slightly brought me out of the narrative and, and perhaps moved me away from the great tragedy just for a beat was the notion that Salvatore used to, and I quote, rock your body. <laughs> I'd like more people at funerals to give speeches about how they were going to miss the sex. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for a biggie with Jenny Eclair. You're so funny. You make me laugh all the time. We have such fun together, don't we? I mean, I know we don't always see eye to eye. That's not really possible, is it? Well, you've been really so tall and all that. This is quite hard and hot work. Gosh, I could do with a cold drink or something like that. Hold on. Ice cream! Oh! I'm not sure I've ever felt less moved. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've changed my mind to have my little bra friend and then I... I don't know what happened to that. Well, sheer she hysteria suffocated. seemed to set in. There's not a court in the land that wouldn't convict you of murder there. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it's Ivo. What could be nicer? Hot summer's day, couple of lads. Cleaning their cars. Make sure you're thorough. Look, really get every bit there, you see? 
Oh, it's looking great. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of us. Most people wouldn't give their imaginary friend their own set of wheels. And one day we're going to go on the sweetest road trip together. <laughs> Not in the same car, but driving side by side, singing each other songs through our windows. And you'll be so... trip. <laughs> you teach them to wash their car and then they just drive off into the sunset without you. If you love something, set it free. <laughs> In many ways, more tragic mm. because your friend chose to leave you. <laughs> 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 yes, I, I drew on some powerful real experience. Uh, <laughs> it speaks to a certain level of social status, though, doesn't it, when your imaginary friend has a car? <laughs> <laughs> Time to score them. Who's in last place, Greg? I'm going to give Jenny two points. Oh, thank right. you. Because I, yeah. I, I did enjoy the act of, of beheading. <laughs> and I'm going to go up to Kyle. It was a poignant setup. I didn't. I wasn't as moved at the end. And I, and I can't, at the back of my head, I think he might have lived. <laughs> OK, three points to Kyle. May and Ivo I would probably give four points to because when Frankie shouted Jesus Christ, <laughs> I, I actually out loud went, oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> and therefore he must take the five points. There we go. Well, then, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see a scoreboard then. All right. Well, he's not won an episode yet, but currently a maximum score of ten is Frankie Boyle in the lead. Right. <laughs> What's next, Alex? It's time for breakfast. Mm. Hello. Oh, my favourites. Eggs. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. There's something funny about an egg. May I? You may. Efficiently shell an egg. You may not touch any part of any egg. With your hands. Oh, I thought it was going to be pretty simple for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and you may only break the shell of one of the eggs. What does that mean? Why have I got all these eggs if I'm only doing one egg? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Fewest pieces of eggless shell wins. Why is this so confusing? Fewest pieces of eggless shell. I'm going to go into full crisis here. I just mm. don't understand what's been asked of me. Right. <laughs> I'm not thick. OK. OK. I'll write that down. So, do you understand the task? Not really, Alex, no. no. So, you've got to get a shell off an egg? That's about right. You have a maximum of ten minutes. Your time starts now. There seemed to be some collective confusion over this task there. Yes, all I mean, five of them. Were you surprised that they didn't understand the task? Completely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they couldn't use their hands, they had to peel the egg in as few pieces as possible. We gave them a choice of eggs because that might be important, it might not. Right, that then! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Some of these eggs aren't going to break, are they? Some of them are, are not real eggs. OK. Just sort of test the weight. That's quite a sensible thing to do, isn't it? They all sound real to me. How were they? All roughly the same weight. That's a relief. Fused pieces of eggless shell. Eggless shell. You've taken a shoe off. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what about if I had a tea towel and, and an egg in it, and then I wouldn't be touching it with my hands, I'd be touching it with a... Right, OK. Were you aiming for the middle of the egg? Yes, I was. <laughs> can I use a practice egg? Well, all I can say, yeah. Ivo, is that all the information is on the task. So I'll, if I get that egg out... Ah, oh, right. Eggless shell? Yep. 
How am I doing for time? Mm, three minutes 44 left. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Let's get the rest of this out. It's just going to be three pieces. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh... We're definitely keen that you shell an egg. Something. Yeah, you'd... Oh, that's quite a crunchy bit of egg you're eating. Oh, no, stop it. Shut up. It doesn't feel good, does it, putting it in my mouth? Or just a, a knife. Let's tie a sliver shell. <laughs> like it's turning into so many bits of small shell. Mm, I can hear them. Ooh, that's a nice big bit. Oh, now what are you doing? Nothing. Just finishing off my egg. <laughs> Another crunchy bit. Thanks, Jenny. Right. I'm a bit egged out now. <laughs> well, first things first, Jenny. Um, why did you take your shoe off? I just wondered whether I could do something with a shoelace. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, normally, Ivor, I see you as, a, you know, quite a person of action. You normally think, right, well, I'll have a go at this, but you just seem lost for a long time with this. <laughs> I think the only th good thing I did in that ten minutes was keep both of my shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you try to work out the weight of the eggs? What did you think was going on with the eggs? Um, well, I don't think even the successful shellers amongst us will have provided any answer as to why there were five eggs. Oh, they, one of them has. Well, uh, well uh, several. Uh, <laughs> me and Jenny. <laughs> over in Thicko Corner. <laughs> Jenny and I... <laughs> Thicko Corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I... I can't believe I'm <laughs> being told off by Jenny for ruining our friendship and told off by Alex for using bad grammar at the same time. <laughs> it's really gone badly, hasn't it? <laughs> well, look, I had the slightly sad job of having to count the pieces afterwards. Uh, Ivo, 13 pieces of yes. eggshell. Jenny, 20 pieces. And that's not including the pieces you ate. Yeah, <laughs> which were many. <laughs> All right, then it's time for Kyle and Frankie. I've got to somehow select the hardest egg. You, you're looking for a hard egg? I'm looking for the hardest possible egg. What about that? Oh, oh, mm. <laughs> I, think, I think this one is up for it. I had an idea. Maybe the hard-boiled egg will sink furthest to the bottom. What's your method, Kyle? Uh, pick it up and drop it. That one had a bit of a slower trajectory. What are we learning? <laughs> what do people use, normally use? To do this? Yeah, spoon. OK. Or this. And this. Ah. <laughs> what, what, have, what have you found? I don't know what that is. That to me is some quite hard. Go on, get in. Right. I don't really understand how that's happened. So that's the egg you've chosen, is it? Yeah, this right. is the moment. seen anyone peel an egg this badly. <laughs> I think I'm smashing this. Is that a pun? Oh, yeah. oh that's better. Well, you know, it kind of came together at the end there. Finished? Yeah. Tell us about that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Did your drop an egg in the water system help much? No. <laughs> uh, I think I hadn't entirely understood the task, <laughs> and also I stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very much true. true. 
And, um... Welcome to Thicko Corner. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Kyle accidentally found the solution, which is you're looking for a raw egg, because then you can get the egg out in once. You could make a little hole and yeah. blow the egg out in one. I'm not going to be blowing the egg out. But you nearly did you blow did, the egg you out. You did a good job using uh, some drawing implements. I did have to count all the little bits. There were six little bits, but that's a lot fewer than uh, Frankie, who had 83. <laughs> <laughs> Here's May's attempt. OK, um, I'm just going to take my shoes and socks off. Yes, yeah, me too. OK. Are you allowed to put them on the floor for me? Yeah, OK. It looks like I'm wanking off an egg with my foot. That's a bit. Oh, God, it really does. No, fuck this. OK. OK. And now I'm going to put my mouth on them. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So, would you prefer to work with a boiled egg or an unboiled egg? Mm. I'm going to get a pin, and then I'm going to hope it's a raw egg, and I'm going to make a pin size hole. Right? I'm not sure this is the way. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, that's the way. You've pretty much finished the task. OK, I'm going to get the rest of the egg out. I mean, I don't know why I had my feet and my mouth involved when I could have used any utensil. <sighs> Fewest pieces of eggless shell. If I'm being completely honest, there's three. Yes, you should be. I'm done. Yes. Three. Three. What does it say? Frankie, Frankie, Jenny, Frankie, Frankie. What does that mean? Well, I presume Jenny's boiled. No, Jenny was the raw one. Yeah, because Frankie. Frankie and Benny. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Boyle. Yeah, that's infuriating. What was the plan when your shoes and socks came off? Oh, I was going to use my feet to, to expertly shell it. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to peel the egg with your toes? I feel nauseous from watching that. Like, that was... I, I, we've all been quite traumatised. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can tell, like... Yeah. But the pin idea was amazing. Oh, the pin idea was amazing, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, Got a happy the accident, right? It was a very happy accident. Like Kyle, really. And it, it worked, just the three pieces. They've definitely won. <laughs> Should we just score it and move on? <laughs> Let's just agree it's been the worst <laughs> task and the worst response to the task in, in 15 series. <laughs> and let's move on. By some distance. By some <laughs> distance. <laughs> yeah. And yet, yeah, Frankie gets a point, Jenny two, Ivo three, KL four, but May Martin five points. <laughs> Do I dare ask for another? Thankfully, we do have another one, and I've been busy doing a spot of landscaping. <laughs> oh! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this looks great. Yes, yeah, an improvement. Yeah. Bowling ball? Uh-huh. Right. Oh, do the, open the task. Yeah, that's the first task. <laughs> Bash the big bell with a bowling ball. Fastest gets five points. Slowest gets four points. Nobody else gets any points. Interesting. You must stay off the grass unless you're wearing gold shoes. If anything other than the bowling ball or gold shoes touches the grass, you are disqualified. You have a maximum of 20 minutes. The time starts now. Pretty straightforward. I'm looking forward to just getting on with it. Crack on. All right, first up to give it a bash are Jenny and May. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to do that. Well, it might hit. <laughs> no, now you can't reach it. No, I've got to find some golden shoes. Gold shoes, well... Just gonna have a look for some gold shoes, quickly. OK. I found one. Oh, well done. Yeah. That didn't take long. 
That pineapple's calling to me. There's <laughs> a golden shoe. Is there another one? They normally come in pairs. They do, normally. There's no gold shoe in here, is there? But where's the other golden shoe? Found the golden spray. They lent me a kicking shoe. I'm going to gold spray it. Yeah. Oh. Why would they do that? I only have one. So what's the plan? Go on one foot. Can you do that? Yeah. I think I can. That's so golden. That's more like it. Golden shoes. How does it feel? Scary. Yep. I'm allowed on the grass in my golden shoes. <laughs> kicking the ball with my golden shoes. Oh, bloody hell. I've stopped the clock. Come on! Come on! Yeah! I've stopped the clock. I think if you ever decide you want to do pantomime, that will serve as a very good audition tape. So you were literally cackling like a <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> I'm not very good with children en masse. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you pick up the ball at any point? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that now? <laughs> you both did really well. Uh, Jenny bashed the bell in three minutes 40. Three minutes 40? If you'd got the right paint first time round, you would have beaten May, who got two minutes 57. So you both did extremely well. Good start. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Good start. Good. Two big bell bangers now. It's Kyle and Frankie. <laughs> I should try to hit it before I do this, shouldn't I? Oh. May I have your shoes? You want my shoes? Yeah. Alice will give you your shoes if you do one of the following. Deposit £100 in this bank account, <laughs> give you a perfect dippy boiled egg with buttered sausages and a glass of milk. Physically remove them. How's it going, Frankie? Well, I took an assessment of my bowling ability. I thought, time to make me some gold shoes. <laughs> well, you know, it's not terrible. plan when you were rolling up the green? You were sort of pouring at Alex like a, a cartoon <laughs> cat. And, uh... I thought I could wrestle him to the ground and take his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to see Frankie Boyle creeping across a green <laughs> with two swing ball bats. <laughs> swing ball bats or golden snowshoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yellow. yellow. We all yellow. know it's not gold. It is yellow. yellow. <sighs> yeah. Well, what is gold? 
Gold is a deep, lustrous yellow or yellow-brown colour. That was neither. <laughs> Only the fastest and the slowest gets points here. And it's interesting. May, of course, 2 minutes 57, Jenny, 3 minutes 40. That's not relevant now, Jenny, because Frankie, 6 minutes 50 is the slowest. Kyle, 3 minutes 45, so also not relevant. Oh. Frankie, one end, May, the other, if we allow the gorgeous golden shoes on Frankie's feet. <laughs> We've isolated one player. Or should I say, I volated. It's Mr. Graham again. Here we go. What if it doesn't come back? <laughs> you can't live your life like that. Complex, really. No, I've got to get the gold shoes. Ah, OK. Can I wear those gold shoes? Thank you very much. For sure. Alex will give you his shoes if you do one of the following. Deposit £100 in his bank account, give him a perfect dippy boiled egg with buttered soldiers and a glass of milk, physically remove them. The egg isn't totally submerged. <laughs> it's not got long. Seven minutes. Oh, it's, this is disgusting. The, what I'm doing is disgusting. <laughs> Good for an omelette. It's cost us another four minutes. The stench of failure hangs over this task. Failure and egg. Two minutes left. Another big moment now. Yes. Beautiful. Hello. Hello, Alex. Oh, lovely. <laughs> 30 seconds. I've lured you with a bad egg. <laughs> Here's my milk. My milk now. <laughs> Wasn't it always your plan just to attack him when he came near? My pl I didn't really have a plan. I did want to commit some sort of physical assault, but I was also <laughs> seduced by the romance of trying to cook the perfect dippy egg. <laughs> it did take him about 17 minutes to boil an egg, but that's in your favour, cos if you're the last person, you the get slowest. four points. Yeah. yeah. And he did complete the task with 16 seconds to go. <laughs> Pretty neat stuff, actually. <laughs> well, then. Well, then. Well, then. So it looks like May gets the five and Ivo gets the four. Right. But it is worth doing one last check. Remember, if anything touches the grass, other than golden shoes, oh. you're disqualified. <laughs> Your time starts now. Can I have a look in the bar? Well, you're not allowed to stand on grass. Don't step on the... Ah! What's happened? Nothing. <laughs> Don't go on the grass! What? <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close, so close, so close. Ivo, you also put the podium on the grass. Please don't take my four points with three other people getting zero away from me. <laughs> the only things that went on the grass that were golden were the shoe over here and the shoes over here. <laughs> I, I'm really throwing myself fully behind yellow isn't gold now. I mean, I would... <laughs> what, 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 what I would say is that if we disqualify Frankie, then May is both the fastest and the slowest and we'll get nine points. <laughs> Frankie, I loved your gold shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's perfectly happy with the um, golden bats now. Yeah, I love them. I'm, love them. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm going to allow it. OK. Congratulations. Frankie, you get four points. May Martin, another five points. <laughs> A quick look at the scores. May's on 16 and Frankie's on 15. Hey. Please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> He's 
can you read the task out, Alex? Ivo Graham is going to read the task out. <clears throat> Walk around the chairs, listening to Greg's story. Then sit on a chair when you hear a word containing two letter L's. If you stop walking or touch a chair incorrectly, you are disqualified. If you fail to sit on a chair when you hear a word containing two letter L's, you are disqualified. Best listener wins. So it's basically going to be like musical chairs, but instead of music, it's going to be Greg reading a story to you. There are four stories, and each story will have a different rule. So it's, it's two L's in the first story. Oh, man. <laughs> Please read the first story and walk when he talks. The sun was setting. The light was magical. And the water lapped to the shore of the lake. Right, said Greg. Get your clothes off. You're going in. I don't want to, said the scrawny, sausage-shaped man. I need you to retrieve the stone I just threw in, whispered Greg noisily. It's one of my favourite stones, I think, and... So... <laughs> little Alex Horn. <laughs> You did that very badly. <laughs> very, very badly. You must. You must. You must. You must. <laughs> Kyle first struck a chair, so was pretty much disqualified, and then just walked over to me. <laughs> Greg, what's the rule for the next story? The next story, you should sit down when you hear a word with a U in it. Off we go. Story two. In the morning, I like to have a pot of coffee and a slice of cake. Little Alex Horn brings them in when I ring my little bell. I let him wear his yellow cape if he is a very lucky boy. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Boyle shoulder barging Jenny Eclair. <laughs> Are you OK, Jenny? I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Do we remove a chair? Yeah. yeah. Fuck uh, yes. Would you? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> this time you should sit down when you hear a word that starts and ends with the same letter. These are the closing rules. The taskmaster expects those around him to adhere to at all times. One, the shirt should be tucked in, really tucked in, right in. Two. I mean, Ivo was following, but uh, there was no words there that started and ended with the same letter. <laughs> we've lost Frankie Boyle. Frankie, we've lost him. <laughs> as soon as the boil bottom went, mine was swiftly following. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final, Greg. We right, this time you should sit down when you hear a six-letter word. Are you ready? Yes. OK. I don't remember much about that fateful night. It was cold. The moon was full, I know that. I'm not an idiot, and I can't be held responsible for the terrible accident that happened to little Alex Hall. We have a winner. Little's got six letters. <laughs> we'll come down here. We'll see how that's affected the final scores. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Mm. That was exciting, I thought. <laughs> yes. Kyle was the worst listener, but the best was May Martin with five points, and that does mean this episode has been won by May Martin! Oh. <laughs> Again! 21 points. There we go. <laughs> May Martin wins! Please go and back your bathroom booty! <laughs> What have we learned today? If you ever find yourself lying in bed alone and you get a pleasant feeling that you maybe haven't felt for a long time, relax. It's good news. Salvatore lived and you're about to get your body rocked. <laughs> but please clap once again for the winner of tonight's show. It's May Martin!
for more Taskmaster, subscribe now.